All right, good evening, everyone. My name is Katie Banks, the Black Fellow in Political Communications. And this summer, I had the opportunity to intern at the Center for American Progress in Washington, DC. So a little bit more about the organization that I interned with. Um, the Center for American Progress, also known as CAP, um, is Washington's leading left-leaning think tank. And the mission of CAP is that they are dedicated to improving the lives of all Americans through bold, progressive ideas, as well as strong leadership and concerted action. But more specifically, I worked in the Generation Progress Department, um, which is the youth arm of, of the organization. So I worked on several campaigns affecting the millennial generation, campaigns such as student debt reform, Obamacare, campus sexual assault, immigration, gun violence, LGBT, LGBTQ rights, and voting rights. And specifically, the goal of Generation Progress is to work with and for young people to promote these progressive solutions to key political and social challenges. So the great thing about my internship this summer is that my site location was anything but static. I was everywhere. I was all over the city. And these are some photos of myself as well as some coworkers um, really going out and spreading generation progress into the, the whole city, um, which was a fantastic opportunity that it wasn't just an office job. This was a job throughout the entire city. And I was really given the opportunity to share generation progress um, throughout Washington, DC. So as I arrived to my internship, um, I sat down with my site mentor and was able to set up some internship goals for both myself and then also goals that the organization had for me. Um, so I was a communications and operations intern. So specifically in the communications field, um, my goal was to draft effective communications material, whether that be through social media, large email blasts, um, and then going out and covering events and coming back and reporting on them. Um, I was, my goal was to be able to support Generation Progress's message through writing in some form. And then also in the operations end, um, my goal was planning and logistics for major events. And I'll talk more about the major event that um, I participated in throughout my internship, um, but really just making sure that everything was running smoothly, everyone was where they needed to be, organization is important to me, um, and I was definitely able to do that um, through this end of the internship. And then finally, an overarching goal that we set for myself and that really embodies um, what Generation Progress is all about is to be able to advocate for progressive change. And that was something that I was able to do on and off the clock at Generation Progress. So this internship project that I'm talking about, the Make Progress National Summit, um, is a summit that Generation Progress puts on annually. Um, we invite over a thousand young people from all over the country to come and be able to listen to progressive leaders as well as collaborate amongst each other to find progressive solutions to these challenges that I talked about earlier that are affecting the millennial generation. Um, so the greatest part though about this was that I was selected to, um, me and my other um, intern Monte were selected to introduce House Leader Nancy Pelosi, um, who was one of the speakers at the conference. Um, so to be able to collaborate and talk with one of my longtime role models was um, an amazing accomplishment from this project. So definitely a success. Some other highlights um, from this summer. Um, CAP was able to collaborate with the White House Summit on Working Families, um, which is a national conversation about how we get working families, how we get policies in the workplace to best benefit working families in America. And obviously, there are some pretty important people who care about this stuff, who I was also able to meet and greet and be able to um, listen to them and listen to their solutions about um, an important challenge facing our nation. Another highlight of mine um, was an event called the Taste of Iowa. I believe it was the seventh annual event um, put on by former Iowa Senator Tom Harkin. Um, and these are some fellow Iowans and myself with the former senator. Um, and this was a really big highlight of mine because it tied together my time at Cornell and my experiences in Iowa as a really important state in politics. Um, where with the future that I see for myself in Washington, D.C. So this collaboration was a really good tie and something that I feel that fellowships are all about. So what I learned, intellectually, I was able to gain new perspectives on these pressing issues that face, that face American millennials. I was, also to gain, I was also able to gain valuable social media skills, as well as the ability to effectively summarize and report on policy initiatives. Personally and professionally, I gained this real-world work experience that is really going to help me down the road in my future. 
um, as well as establishing great relationships with coworkers and elected officials. So being able to talk to them was a really wonderful part of this experience. Um, and then lastly, I gained the importance of a necessity in taking part in what I consider meaningful work. So as I, as I engage in my you know, career search down the road, this is something that is the most important to me, in engaging in a type of work that makes a difference in people's lives. So that's definitely um, something that I was reaffirmed as a, result, as a result of this internship. So this in internship impacted me in a number of different ways. Um, academically, I gained these real life experiences that I was able to relate and tie back to um, political theories that I've been learning in my courses at Cornell. Um, I also was able to spark new interests and ideas for class paper topics. Um, I actually wrote my politics capstone paper on why the millennial generation is the most accepting generation of the LGBTQ community. Um, and that was an interest that I definitely got as a result of this internship. And then also, I'm currently right now um, taking an independent study course entitled Women in Politics, which is what I aspire to be. Um, <laughs> So professionally, um, I made these lasting connections and the networking abilities that are really going to help me um, pursue a career, hopefully, in Washington, D.C. Um, I was able to enhance my skill sets that I already had, but then more importantly, gained new ones. Um, and then I also was able to publish my work um, on the Generation Progress website so that I can show to um, future employers um, that it's good enough to be published. <coughs> And then in the future, um, I was able to strengthen my own political views and beliefs as a, as a result of this internship. I learned a lot of different sides and how a lot of different people address these issues that I was learning more about. And so it really just strengthened my own views and made me more confident in my own political agenda. Um, I gained an increased self, sense of self-assurance and accomplishment in what's to come in the future. Um, and then also pictured here, um, I was able to really, really take advantage of the importance of Cornell's alumni base. Um, this is Mercy Wolf, class of 2012, um, who was a women's studies and politics major at Cornell, um, who I was able to live with this past summer. Um, and this is us in the east wing of the White House, so not too shabby. Um, but I really, really am thankful for all of her help that she was able to give me in this internship opportunity, opening her doors to me and showing me all around Washington, D.C. And then finally, um, I gained a more specific focus on my future career path. Um, I know that I want to be a strong woman in politics, and I know that I can make that happen as a result of this internship. So finally, I obviously could not have done this alone. Um, I wanted to thank um, my donors, Mr. and Mrs. Rodney and Elizabeth Black, um, my faculty sponsor, Professor Robert Sutherland, um, as well as my academic advisor, Craig Allen, and the Kappa Theta advisor, Deanne Rexroth, who are all here supporting me today. Um, I really, really could not have done this without you guys, um, as well as my site supervisor, Rebecca Kaplan, um, and everyone in the CEC. Um, I really believe that this was the best way to be able to spend my last summer as a student at Cordell College, and for that, I am very, very grateful. So thank you. <laughs>